animating non-player characters in Unity using Canim. Non-player characters, NPCs, play a crucial role in creating immersive and engaging video game experiences. Whether serving as quest givers, enemies, or background characters, NPCs bring virtual worlds to life and provide players with a sense of interaction and believability. One of the key aspects of creating convincing NPCs is through the use of animation. Unity, a popular game development engine, offers a powerful animation system called Mcanim, which allows developers to create and control character animations with ease. In this paper, we will explore the process of animating NPCs using Unity's Mcanim system, from the fundamentals to advanced techniques and optimization considerations. To effectively utilize Mcanim for NPC animation, it is essential to understand its core components. Animation clips are the building blocks of Mcanim and represent individual animations, such as walking, running, or attacking. These clips can be created within Unity or imported from external 3D modeling and animation software. The animator controller is the heart of Mcanim and acts as a state machine that manages the transitions between different animation clips based on defined conditions and parameters. Animation parameters, such as booleans, integers, and floats, allow developers to control the flow of animations and create dynamic transitions. Mcanim also supports retargeting, which enables animations to be easily applied to characters with different proportions and skeletal structures. The process of setting up NPC animations in Mcanim begins with creating or importing the NPC character model into Unity. This model should be properly rigged and skinned to ensure smooth animation performance. Next, the NPC's animation clips are imported and organized within the project hierarchy. It is important to name and categorize animations clearly to maintain a clean and efficient workflow. With the animations in place, the NPC's animator controller is created. This involves setting up the desired states and transitions between animation clips based on the NPC's intended behaviors and interactions. Animation parameters are configured to control the transitions and allow for dynamic animation changes during gameplay. To bring NPC animations to life and create interactive behaviors, scripting is used in conjunction with Mechanim. By accessing the animator component attached to the NPC game object, developers can control animations through code. Animation parameters can be modified in real time to trigger specific animations or transitions based on game events, player interactions, or NPC states. For example, an NPC's walking animation can be triggered when the player approaches, or an attack animation can be played when the NPC enters a combat state. Mcanim also supports blending and layering of animations, allowing for the creation of complex and nuanced NPC behaviors. Developers can smoothly blend between animations, such as transitioning from a walk to a run, or layer multiple animations on top of each other to create more realistic and dynamic movements. To create truly immersive NPC experiences, Mcanim animations can be integrated with other Unity systems. The NavMesh system, for example, allows NPCs to navigate and pathfind intelligently within the game environment. By combining NavMesh with Mechanim, developers can create NPCs that smoothly navigate and interact with the world while playing appropriate animations. NPCs can also react to player interactions, such as triggering specific animations when the player approaches or initiates dialogue. Additionally, Ragdoll physics can be implemented to create realistic NPC deaths or knockdowns. When an NPC is defeated or hit by a powerful force, Mechanim animations can seamlessly transition to a ragdoll state, simulating realistic physics-based movements. Animations can also be synchronized with audio and visual effects to enhance the overall impact and believability of NPC actions. When working with multiple animated NPCs in a game scene, performance optimization becomes critical. Mcanim offers several techniques to manage performance and ensure smooth gameplay. Level of detail, LOD, techniques can be applied to NPC animations, 
reducing the complexity of animations for characters that are farther away from the camera. This helps to minimize the computational overhead while maintaining visual fidelity. Animation baking and compression are other optimization strategies that can reduce memory usage and improve performance. Baking animations converts them into a more efficient format, while compression reduces the size of animation data without significant quality loss. Additionally, developers should follow best practices for efficient NPC animation workflows, such as using animation events judiciously, minimizing the number of animation clips, and optimizing animator controller transitions. To gain practical insights into NPC animation using Canem, it is valuable to examine successful implementations in existing Unity games. Analyzing different approaches to NPC behavior and animation can provide inspiration and guidance for developers. Case studies can showcase how Mcanim has been utilized to create believable and engaging NPC interactions, from simple background characters to complex quest givers and enemies. Open source NPC animation projects and tutorials are also valuable resources for learning and experimenting with Mcanim techniques. These examples often provide step-by-step -step guidance and demonstrate best practices for implementing NPC animations effectively. As Unity continues to evolve and improve its animation tools and features, new possibilities emerge for creating even more realistic and dynamic NPC animations. Advancements in motion capture technology and procedural animation techniques are opening up new avenues for generating lifelike movements and behaviors. The integration of machine learning and artificial intelligence with Mcanim is another exciting area of exploration. Air-driven NPC animations have the potential to create more adaptive and responsive characters that can dynamically adjust their behaviors based on player actions and game states. As these technologies progress, developers will have even more powerful tools at their disposal to create immersive and engaging NPC experiences. Animating non-player characters is a vital aspect of creating immersive and believable video game worlds, and Unity's Mcanim animation system provides a comprehensive toolset for achieving this goal. By understanding the fundamentals of Mcanim, setting up NPC animations effectively, and leveraging scripting and integration with other Unity systems, developers can bring their NPCs to life with compelling and dynamic animations. While implementing NPC animations with Mcanim presents challenges, such as performance optimization and managing complexity, the benefits of creating engaging and interactive characters are well worth the effort. As Unity continues to evolve and new techniques emerge, developers are encouraged to experiment, push the boundaries, and unlock the full potential of NPC animation in their Unity projects. By embracing the power of Mcanim and staying updated with the latest advancements, game developers can create truly captivating and memorable NPC experiences that leave a lasting impact on players.